Good afternoon, everyone. First, I think it's only fitting to take a moment to say a fond farewell to the old playground. <laughs> For years, it stood strong, well, mostly strong. Uh, it may have creaked and cracked a bit. Um, definitely had some character, didn't it? Um, but think about it. How many kids have learned the fine art of negotiation on a slide or gained their first lesson in gravity from that perch up top? Today, as we celebrate this beautiful new playground, we're also honoring all those little victories and memories that made the old one. The bumps, the bruises, the triumphs. As many of you know from your own time here, our old playground was more than just equipment. It was a place where kids made lifelong friends. They learned the rules of fair play and they let their creativity shine. This new playground is more than just an upgrade. It represents a vision for what play can be to young minds. Critical skills in problem solving, creativity, resilience. These children won't just be playing, they'll be building essential skills that they'll carry into every stage of life. Here is where teamwork begins, where kindness grows, and where our students' imaginations can soar. None of this would be possible without the incredible support of community. From generous donors and dedicated parents, to the PTO, the school committee, school staff, friends of Hadley Preschool, each of you has contributed to creating a space where our children can thrive. And I want to give a special thanks to two incredible leaders who brought this project together, our principal, Jen Dowd, and Tara Brueger, our school committee project lead. <laughs> Jen and Tara, your dedication and commitment to seeing this project through have been nothing short of inspiring. Thank you so much. And this is a small token of our appreciation. You've given them more than a playground. You've given them the gift of discovery, of joy, that will stay with them for years. So here's to the many future friendships big dreams, and yes, maybe even a few friendly negotiations for turns on the swings. Thank you for making this vision a reality, everyone. And let's get ready to play. Thank you so much, Humira. That was very kind. Kids, are we excited about our new playground? Yeah! <laughs> That's what we were hoping for. I'm truly honored to stand in front of you all today to celebrate the opening of our new playground at Hadley Elementary School. This moment is a culmination of hard work, generosity, and a shared commitment to our kids. I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to the school committee, Dr. McKenzie, our dedicated community partners, families, staff, for your unwavering support bringing this new playground to life. This project is a testament to what we can achieve together, and it wouldn't have been possible without your commitment and hard work. Thank you. At Hadley, we believe that every child deserves a place to be themselves, to grow, to learn the lessons of life that come from play. A playground is not just a set of equipment. It's a place where children can connect, collaborate and discover the joys of childhood. Remember the joys of childhood? Wasn't that wonderful? Thank you once again for believing in our vision and in, for investing in our future for our students. Together we've built not just a playground but a foundation for friendship, growth, and community spirit. Let's cherish this gift and continue to work together to make Hadley Elementary School a place where every child can enjoy and play. And now I'd like to call up Tara Brueger, who will be thanking the generous donors 
and community members. I'd also would like to acknowledge Tara before she begins. <laughs> Not gonna be happy. <laughs> because she was instrumental in making this project come to life. She was spearheading this project and seeing it through until the very end. I cannot tell you how much time Tara has spent working alongside us. The late night meetings, the phone calls about play equipment, donations, and even picking up the donuts for today. She didn't have enough going on. Tara, thank you for your hard work on behalf of the students. I paper clipped everything, so bear with me for a second so I don't lose it all in this wind. Okay, so as mentioned by Principal Dowd, and for those who may not know me, I'm Tara Brueger. I currently have two students at HES. I'm a school committee member and have served for the past seven and a half years thus far. First, thank you to Himera for her kind words, presence, and ongoing commitment to our schools. Thank you to Principal Dowd for your leadership and dedication to HES. Thank you to all of our amazing teachers and staff who make each day so fun and safe for our students. Thank you for our team of administrators that shape what this school is. And thank you to my fellow school committee members. Your relentless support for the Hadley schools is something that cannot and does not go unnoticed. And lastly, just to reiterate, the gratitude for all those previously mentioned by Humera and Principal Dowd who are always showing up for the Hadley Public School students. I want to take my time to thank the numerous community <laughs> members and family members whose individual donations ranged from $20 all the way up to $300. All of these donations added up to a total of just over uh, $5,550. This includes donations through PayPal, GoFundMe, checks and cash sent into the school, as well as support at fundraisers such as the car wash with the UMass Minutemen basketball team and the Aspar Asparagus Festival. Every dollar counts and every donation matters. A lot of the donors I am about to name are constant supporters of the Hadley Public School community. For many, it's not their first donation and I doubt it'll be their last. To our donors, your dedication and commitment to our students, both at HES and at Hopkins, does not go unnoticed. And this is just a small way that we can show our gratitude for all your ongoing support. So what I'll do is I'll share the donation level and the donors that provided funding within each bracket. I would like to provide a small token in the form of a certificate of appreciation. If you're able to, I'll ask the donors to please come up to receive your certificate from one of our HES students. They're all very eager to give them to you. So kiddos that are presenting, come on up, go over to Miss Dowd. Right over to Miss Dowd. <clears throat> come on, George, come on, Nora. So I'm gonna mention everybody, um, and I know some of them are not here and couldn't make it with us today, so um, I'll try and keep it succinct with Jen, who uh, is getting the awards ready to hand out. So first, we have the Park Friend, whose donations ranged anywhere from $500 up to $999. And those donors included Weinzick Nursery, and I'm wondering if we have somebody here that can accept that? Okay, we'll get that award to them. And I don't think we have anybody here from Valley Rental or Tandem Bagel, and they were also in that category, just to recognize them and thank them for that. So next we have the Park Builders, whose donations ranged from $1,000 up to $4,999. 
There are a few here that um, I know of that I'll mention their names before I have kids come up. So there's V1 Vodka, Tony Lynn Morelli, Esalon Cafe, um, and Jackie Zusko. And I'm not sure anybody from Greenfield Savings Bank is here, so I'd like to recognize them as well. So now for donors that we do have present, we have the Stern Financial. Next, we have George, and that should be for Shumway Services. <laughs> All right, and we have next USA. Sully? Come on up. <laughs> Thank you. We have the Phil family. Um, so Greenfield Savings Bank, I, I don't think I saw anybody here. We have Cedar Reach Farm. We have the Edward Hopkins Educational Foundation. Oh, right here, guys. Right here. Mr. Kellis is right there. There you go. <laughs> we have the Brueger family. And lastly, we have the Dragon family. All right, next we have the bronze level whose donations ranged from $5,000 up to $9,999. Um, and we have somebody that's not present. Um, Chet and Karen Alpalka, family members to the Meyer family. We have East Hampton Savings Bank. And we have Florence Savings Bank. Thank you. <laughs> Moving to the silver level, whose donations ranged from $10,000 up to $24,999. And there we have the Hadley PTO. Next is People's Bank. One moment. <laughs> Next is Greenfield Cooperative Bank. <laughs> and last in this category is Courtney and Brendan Meyer. Oh, 
The gold level includes those donations were, that were over $25,000. We have two in this group, and the first we'd like to recognize are Belize Auto Group and Steve Lewis Subaru, who committed $50,000 towards our playgrounds. Thank you. And the last of our donations are the Friends of Hadley Preschool. Their donation made by the Friends of Hadley Preschool covered the entire cost of the preschool and kindergarten playground, so thank you. <clears throat> now there are two groups that I'd like to call up that were critical to the success of this project that provided non-monetary donations but helped get this project done. The first is Valley Excavating. Thank you for donating all your time, labor, equipment, and skills. Second, I'd like to thank, um, and I'm not sure anybody is here, um, but our Hadley DPW. Their collaboration with the schools and Valley Excavating to get the old playground equipment removed so we could prepare for the new ones to be put in place cannot be valued more, so thank you. And once again, thank you to all of our donors. These playgrounds would not have been possible without all of your support. So lastly, the actual ribbon cutting. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Um, we're going to have two ribbon cuttings, one for the playground that's behind me, that's grades one through six, and then I'll ask you all to join us over at the preschool and kindergarten playground for a ribbon cutting at that structure as well. I would like to ask parents to have kids please refrain from going back onto the playground until both ribbon cuttings are complete. I promise you it's just a few more minutes, kids. So we have some HES students that are going to hold the ribbon. The ribbon cutting at the grades one through six structure. Um, I would like to ask Alex Belise, Director of Marketing at Belise Auto Group, and Joe Clark, the General Manager at Steve Lewis Subaru, to honor us with that. Okay, kiddos.